family. That would mean a lifetime of change for all of the youngsters that are coming behind these youngsters. Sophia, would you advocate, you know, from working in, you know, within a mainstream setting where you've got, you know, the resource provision, um, this way of working in other mainstream schools? Because you're quite unique in terms of what you're doing here. I can say that because we know in other, a lot of other mainstream schools where they have, you know, pupils with additional needs that th this type of working is not happening. Would you say it's the right way to go? Well, I think you've already asked, answered that. Yeah, we're never going back. Ever. Never going back. No. Yeah. Even, if, even if every penny was stripped away from everything that we've done so far, we'd probably find um, a new way of doing it now. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the answers would let us go back now anyway. Um, they're already telling us how year 10s are on board. We had a, I had a lack review last week with one of the youngsters, and in her lack review, she said, I don't want to talk about that now because I'm going to introduce it to my review. Who's in charge it? In terms of you know, the process, um, I remember talking to Karen right at the beginning, and she was, yeah, obviously, it's a big thing. It's mm -hmm. it's, this is in stages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we want to get to here, but don't think about this at this point. Just think about what's happening in the next month, yeah. the next two months, yeah. the next three months. And, and work your way through that. Yeah, if we were going to, and if you just said it was going to be this big a year ago, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, I think it worked because it was done in stages. If I was going to advise anybody, I would say don't do it like we did it. Um, I was far too enthusiastic and thought I could change the world in a month, as it were. Because we'd had such an impact with your nines, I felt like we just had to dive in. But if I was going to actually train another school, I'd say do it on a year group and, and take it up over time. Because the paperwork originally is a lot of work. And if you haven't got any more money in the budget and you haven't got any more time, then you have to find ways of doing things. And you only do that over time. Like over time, we've learned that each of us can take on any responsibility. Each of us can do certain parts into it. But that is over time. And for the first six months, the the, the workload was horrendous, so I wouldn't say to do it as we do it. Um, but doing it a little bit at a time would certainly be the way to go forward. I think Karen was a bit concerned about doing the working together for change a um, couple of days. Um, we, we spoke about it. I said, well, look, if you're not ready, that, that's fine. You, yeah. know, if you, you know, if you think you can do it, go for it and see, see what happens. So it seems like it would quite well. It's we didn't have, we weren't prepared as much as we will be the next time round, but we weren't prepared as well as we are on the second tranche. With every tranche, with every time we go through the process, you learn a little bit mm -hmm. better, don't you? Well, the first time, all we needed to understand was the process. Well, our data wasn't as accurate as it could have been, and um, we didn't have to spend enough time preparing for it as we could have. But next time round, we will, because now we understand the process and the power it can have. The next time we'll probably be better for it. And I wouldn't be too concerned about, you know, you wish you'd done, you know, sometimes it's, you know, you, you learn by doing and, and, so and getting to, you know, getting mm -hmm. to sort of grips with it all really. Um, so I think, you know, for me you've come a long way from where you were to where you are now. And um, you must see that yourself. Yeah. The journey. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think we see it in ourselves, I think we see it in our children. And I think we see, um, sometimes you do have to stand back a little bit, um, because they ask you for things now that they've never asked before, like, um, can we go out on lunchtime, miss? Or, uh, can we go and, go, go and um, take the biscuit shopping, as in go to shop for the biscuits for our new reviews? Well, in the past, I just said, oh yes, like, I remember staff to go with, <laughs> or, oh, um, no, actually not allowed out on lunchtime. Well, if there is no risk, there is no gain. So you have to be allowed to take risks. Um, and that's probably one of the things that we've learned is, is without risk, there isn't any learning going to happen outside of the, the cushy environment that we've got. Um, so sometimes we even now have to step back and say, yeah, okay, we, they, they can do this, it's okay. Um, 